We learned a domestic dispute this week on Indy's northeast side apparently led to a woman being killed by accident. Yeah, today Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke with the victim's mother and tonight he explains how police were able to make a quick arrest. The balloons and flowers taped to this sign mark the spot where a 23-year-old woman was shot sitting in the passenger seat of her friend's car. But court records now claim the woman who lost her life was not the intended target. Tuesday night, here at 40th and Emerson, a woman was shot inside a car. The victim, Maxine Congress, died after being rushed to the hospital. She lost her life over something that had absolutely nothing to do with her. Maxine's mother echoed the story from this affidavit, which claims Frederick Pipes intended to shoot his ex-girlfriend who was driving Maxine's car, but the bullet hit Maxine by mistake. My baby was innocent. She had absolutely nothing to do with what was going on. The court records also claim the suspect's ex-girlfriend admitted she planned to meet the suspect's current girlfriend for a fight, and that dispute led to the shooting. You know, this domestic violence issue isn't just the victims or the survivors or the agencies that's working with domestic violence. It's an issue for everyone, and it can impact everyone. Danielle Smith, the city's domestic violence awareness advocate, says the case illustrates that victims of domestic violence are not limited to just intimate partners. Unfortunately, the, those killers aren't thinking about who's around. Those shooters aren't thinking about who's going to be hit if I shoot this gun. In fact, in a different case just last month, another innocent woman was killed by a stray bullet following a domestic dispute she wasn't connected to outside the rural inn. As for Pipes, after his arrest, police claim he blamed his current girlfriend for the killing but multiple witnesses identified Pipes as the shooter. Maxine's mother has known the suspect for years and is still struggling to make sense of the violence. His sisters are my god kids. How could you do this to me? Finally, Pipes was arrested on a preliminary charge of murder. He's being held without bond at the Marion County Jail. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. An 18-year-old Boone County.